Then we have fishes also, the Mingala, mentioned uh, huge fishes, uh, because in the heavens also got the uh, ocean, very big ocean. Uh, so, uh, not to mention Ganesha, uh, the Indian elephant god. <laughs> Then monk Sakadevaraja, descending from the Vejayanta palace, raised his joined hands in reverential salutation and worshipped the different quarters, that means the north, south, east, west. Eh? Then Matali, the charioteer, addressed Saka in verse, These all humbly worship you, those verse, those verse, versed in the triple Veda, all the Katya's nobles reigning on earth, the four great kings and the glorious thirty. So who, O Saka, is that spirit to whom you bow in worship? Uh, i stop here for a moment. Uh. So before Saka Devaraja entered the chariot, uh, he bowed to the four directions. Uh. And Matali was surprised. Uh. Matali, the deva, uh, he said, uh, these uh, who, who are versed in the triple Vedas, that means the Brahmins, uh, Brahmins worship you and uh, the noble uh, castes, uh, the warrior castes, uh, the Katyas, they also worship you. Uh, and the uh, four great heavenly kings also worship you. And the 30 uh, Devarajas uh, in the Tapa Timsa, Timsa heaven, uh, they also worship you. Uh. So whom are, whom are you worshipping? And Saka Devaraja said, these all humbly worship me, those versed in the triple Veda, all the Katyas reigning on earth, the four great kings and the glorious thirty. But I worship those endowed with virtue, those long trained in concentration, those who have properly gone forth with the holy life their destination. I worship as well, O Matali, those householders making merit, the lay followers possessed of virtue, who righteously maintain a wife. Now I stop here for a moment. Uh. So here Sakadeva Raja says uh, that he, firstly he worships those ascetics or the monks uh, who lead the holy life, uh, who truly lead the holy life. Uh. Uh. And then he also worships the householders, uh, lay people uh, who are virtuous uh, and uh, do good deeds. Uh. Uh, and then Matali said, Those whom you worship, my Lord Saka, are indeed the best in the world. I too will worship them, those whom you worship, Vasava. So the, then the Buddha said, Having given this explanation, having worshipped the different quarters, the Deva king, Magava, Suja's husband, the chief, climbed into his chariot. Mm. So he went. Uh, and to enjoy himself. Uh, uh. So here you see, uh, uh, Devaraja, like this Saka, he also respects uh, uh, holy men, uh, those who walk the holy path, uh, and even uh, virtuous lay people. Uh. So um, hopefully, uh, uh, Saka Devaraja is keeping an eye on us. Uh. <laughs> uh. So actually, uh, as long as a person is virtuous, uh, there will be uh, beings uh, that uh, protect you uh, if you are virtuous. Uh, just like Sakadeva Raja here says, uh, uh, he respects those virtuous people. 11.22 at Sabati in Jeta's Grove. There the Blessed One said this, monks, once in the past, a certain ugly, deformed Yaka sat down on the seat of Saka Devaraja. Let's stop here for a moment. Uh, Yaka is a, is a, is a Deva, uh, is a, one of the heavenly beings. Uh. Uh, those Devas in the Saka Devaraja's uh, uh, realm uh, are also called Yakas. Uh. But this fellow is an ugly, deformed Yaka. Uh. So, he went to sit on the king's uh, Sakadevaraja, the king's throne. Uh, he went to sit there. Thereupon the Tavatimsa Devas found fault with this 
grumbled and complained about it, saying, It is wonderful indeed, sir. It is amazing indeed, sir. This ugly, deformed Yaka has sat down on the seat of Sakadevaraja. But to whatever extent the Tabatimsa Devas found fault with this, grumbled and complained about it, to the same extent that Yaka became more and more handsome, more and more comely, more and more graceful. Then monks, the Tabatimsa Devas approached Saka and said to him, Here, dear sir, an ugly, deformed Yaka has sat down on your seat. And then uh, they explain uh, that the more angry they got, uh, the more beautiful the, the, the Yaka became. Uh, and then they said, that must, that must be uh, anger-eating Yaka. Uh. Mm. The more anger you have, uh, it feeds on anger. Then monks, Saka Devaraja approached that anger-eating Yaka. Having approached, he arranged his upper robe over one shoulder, knelt down with his right knee on the ground, and raising his joined hands in reverential salutation towards that Yaka, he announced his name three times. I, dear sir, am Saka Devaraja. I, dear sir, am Saka Devaraja. To whatever extent Saka announced his name, to the same extent that Yaka became uglier and uglier, and more and more deformed, until he disappeared right there. Then monks, having sat down on his own seat, instructing the Tavatimsa Devas, Saka Devaraja on that occasion recited these verses, I am not one afflicted in mind, nor easily drawn by anger's world. I never become angry for long, nor does anger persist in me. When I'm angry, I don't speak harshly, and I don't praise my virtues. I keep myself well restrained, out of regard for my own good. Mm, that's the end of the sutta. So actually, when the devas came to tell Sakadevaraja that uh, this is what happened, uh, they saw this ugly yaka, uh, sitting on his throne and then the more they got angry, the more they grumbled, uh, the more beautiful this uh, Yaka became. Then Saka Devaraja realized uh, that this must be an uh, anger-eating Yaka. La. So he knew what to do. La. He went to him and then paid respect to him, la. knelt down on his knee and all that la, and announced his name. The more respect he gave to this uh, ugly um, Deva, the more uglier he became. La. Uh, and he continued th doing this uh, until that Yaka disappeared. Uh, so, uh, when we reflect on this Sutta, we can um, think uh, perhaps uh, this type of uh, anger eating Yaka is also inside us. Uh, 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 this demon is also inside us. Uh, uh. Whenever we get more and more angry, uh, the demon inside us uh, becomes more and more powerful, uh, more and more bigger, more and more beautiful. Uh. Uh. So the only way to defeat this demon inside us uh, is not to get angry uh, because it feeds on anger. Uh. Mm. So every person, uh, we have this... Uh, good and evil inside us. So the evil inside us uh, wants us to be angry, wants us to be jealous, wants us to do all the evil things, uh, to break the precepts uh, and all that. Uh. So if we listen to this uh, uh, evil inside us, uh, then it will become stronger. Uh. So the only way is to do the opposite. Uh and then you become smaller and smaller. Uh, that's the end of the suttas I'm going to read in this uh, Saka Sangyutta, which means uh, that I finished 11 Sangyuttas, and uh, that is the first book, Sagata Vaga, the first book of the Sangyutta Nikaya we have finished. Uh, so, uh, the next book, uh, 
uh, starts with Nidana Sangyuta. Nidana Sangyuta, that is uh, dependent origination. Actually, Nidana means causation. Uh, uh, so, um, instead of doing it today, I think I will do it tomorrow night nah, because uh, it's a totally new subject. And also this Nidana book, uh, this chapter uh, is one of the tough tough nuts uh, we have to crack uh, to understand. So uh, I'll only start on it tomorrow. Uh, uh. So you have anything to discuss tonight? Uh, we can discuss. Yeah. I guess if the devas die, yeah, just like us, we will be reborn according to our karma. Yes, I would think so. It's only the higher devas uh, that they, they don't fight. Lower devas fight and kill. Page is that? Page 230. 230. 230. 230. 230. Uh, which one? He gave gifts considerately. Uh. Mm. Let's look at the footnote. Three, I guess it means it gives considerably, it gives a lot. I think it means it gives a lot. I think seldom, seldom, because their character is such, huh? they are not so interested in the Dhamma, they don't practice the Dhamma so well, huh? whereas Sakadevaraja, huh? he values the Dhamma, so he practices according to Dhamma, so he wants to learn Dhamma. Huh? There is one sutta where uh, this uh, one of the kings of the the lowest heaven, the four great heavenly kings, eh? he came to tell the Buddha that many of the devas eh, under the four great heavenly kings, eh, they don't like the Buddha and they don't like the Buddha's disciples eh, because the Buddha encourages people not to kill, not to steal, not to commit adultery and all that. Eh? And many of them, eh, they have to kill maybe to get their food. Eh? and uh, they find it difficult to keep the precepts uh, so because they find it difficult to keep the precepts uh, so they they don't like the buddha and the buddha's disciples uh. so this deva raja he taught uh, chan to the buddha and he asked the buddha